I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today with us for a second time, well, rather fourth time, we have Cobra. Okay, so if you haven't heard the first episode, I strongly suggest you go and listen to that because it's a continuation. This is part two. We are talking about Cobra's new book, Open Book. You know, one thing that did not come out enough in the book. Yes, it did come out, but not enough. Was just how hard you guys work. Mm. You know, like I did a podcast recently. I was telling you this on how hard my filmy friends, you, yeah, work because of the kind of hours that you have yeah. back to back. Like we only see like the glitz and the glam and all of that, like the performance aspect of it. But mm. we don't see the amount of hard work that goes before that, right? What is a typical day? in or maybe a week in your life when it okay. is like a hardcore you know just work 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 no i think a day would be a decent like measure hmm. but then so according to like the standards we hmm. should be working 12 hours 12 hour shifts right and we grumble about 8 hours in office ah uh, no 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 hmm. it's not even 12 because like for example i got hurt and i went to the doctor and i said listen i need you to please clear me if possible to do a shoot hmm. so i'm working on a film and he said how many hours do you work Hot cynicla, fourteen hours. Ah, because it's never twelve. So it's twelve on paper. Ends up fourteen. Yes, and uh, then you have travel back and forth. If you're in Mumbai, then it's like an hour to the location and back or whatever. But I think in general, what I find fascinating about this profession is that you do have second chances. You do have more than one take, and it is one emotion that is being played out from different angles. and you can't really drop your guard down especially when i'm giving you the lines and you are reacting to what i am speaking i can't go staccato on those lines i have to tell you how i feel so you're so invested emotionally in so many parts that the usual day would be quite like nah, i need to sleep you come back dead yeah like for example when i spoke in about like my first day at sacred games hmm. i told you like how in the morning they offered me a car and i said no i'm going to walk with mm. my penis right to the set and when i was done with it they said we'll get you a car and i never resisted i said yes that's sometimes like that could be a day in your life sometimes you've just done such a great job consistently through the day that i'm just like jumping up and down and running to my vanity and like getting ready and like yeah 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 and i want to go home and then there could be like so that would be like a day so usually when i am shooting for something i try not to keep anything else in between i want to dedicate my day to that job to that day entirely but then there will come like these days when oh now you have to get dressed and go for award function then and then the three award functions on the same day no no we only do one are please you're not getting invited for the other two No, yeah. Why should they? They're not. They're like uh, you're not. Uh, not there yet. A grade famous yet. Uh, so you're still going to Panipuri. <laughs> yeah, they're like your intermediate fellow. You relax. इतना भी मत करो. कितना जाएगा? Spa का award में जाएगा. Health का award में जाएगा. Beauty का award में जाएगा. तुम किधर जाएगा? नहीं जाएगा तुम. इधर ही रुको. तुम अपना घर में बैठो. So I just pick like uh, maybe now I like pick fashion. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, that would be something. Like I think it, in your profession, you need to go with the flow, huh? Totally. I mean, like like a person like me would like last like thirty seconds. Uh-huh. I remember this one time, uh, Coops is going for an award show where she's oh, actually yeah. had to give out awards, and her script has come mm. five minutes before she's supposed to step on stage. Yep. Her entire script with names of people. Like yeah. I would be tripping over the names itself. Forget about the script. Yeah. And no, and then they'll come and ask us. Can you repeat these names again? No, no, no. It is not Bahu Bali. It is Bahu Bali. Hey, go away. <laughs> Can't do this. <laughs> Man, how are you? And deal these with are the that? same people who will like mispronounce my name. I've been called like Sait. What? I'm not Sait. You're totally a Sait. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Yeah, so like you, you need to be in that moment at that point of time, right? I think acting brings you down to that focus. Mm. And like in the book, you talk about how with Saif Ali Khan in that movie, you are just like your first take is just going on and on and on. You're you're missing the cue. You're missing the cue. I would keep tripping on the chair, man. It was really bad. It was the chair's fault. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to make them understand, and then my producer said, "Arey Virat Kohli be doctor." Arey chair badlo. <laughs> <laughs> so when you have a second take yeah. when you start skipping like this how do you get back into the zone oh it's hard 
Sometimes it's hard. Hmm. But I think what's really like worked for me in my favor over the years is when you know you're not getting it, then just step out from it. Take a deep breath. Ground yourself. Center yourself. Understand why you're missing it. Because these are words, right? And these are not my words. These are my character's words. But I'm not feeling for my character. I don't understand what my character is saying. I'll never get them right. So give yourself and give that character that little time that you need to understand what exactly are you conveying. And then you can say it. But I think kind of disconnecting yourself from the pressure situation, it really helps. And I think that helps for anything. So removing the pressure from that moment. Trying to figure out how to at least. Yeah, I think moving yourself. You know there is pressure. This is the reason why you aren't able to complete a task, right? So then you just move out of the pressure. You know, just go get some fresh air. Get yourself a glass of water. Just sit by yourself. Because what happens is when we go to set, right? Like you've got this incredible breed of human beings called the ADs. Mm. ADs are assistant directors. They want you to be ready. They want you to be ready three days before. Mm. Director said, no, today is fine. But AD wants you ready three days. Why? I have to prove how good I am. I have so much pushed. I am ready. So you have to befriend them also because they are lovely people. <laughs> they are also starting out. They also have a job to do. So I get that part. They are not as directors. No. <laughs> no. They are sweet. They are sweet. They are very sweet. They are all young boys and girls. Yeah, They are all very sweet. And I love it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's next to me. She's next. She can hear you. <laughs> she is here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's on the way. Yeah, yeah, she's on the way. <laughs> but that should make you feel like the President of the United States or something like that. No, no like a secret you. service. No, and no, no, no. The only thing they aren't doing is putting a loose and taking me with them to like the set. <laughs> leash, leash. Leash. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, no, no, no. I, I no. Because I tell them, like, you tell me 5 p.m., I'll be there at 5 p.m. You tell me 3, I'll be there at 3. You tell me 7 a.m., I'll be there at 7. Don't like Hover. charao me. No, hmm. I don't like. Just check now. It's like 6 for 8, 2 for 7. No, I don't like. Don't do that to me. I don't like Can't it. Can you just imagine the pressure, right? It's a lot of pressure. So there's already pressure before you get on scene. Correct. Before you get on set. And then you're on set. Hmm. And the pressure is just as much. Because now you have 200 people there. Right now you were dealing with like 20. Correct. That were like bin binawing like, you know, makhis around you. Hmm. You had 20. Now you're on set. The 200. Light gir raha hai. Light nahi Light gir raha hai? Haan, gir raha hai light. Like, you know, usko niche karo, upar karo. Hmm. Kuch wire aagya beech mein, camera roll hua, camera roll nahi hua. Like for example, we were setting this up and there was like static. Technically things could go wrong. Physically something could go wrong. Like there, we are human beings, yeah, trying to put something together. And trying to put something together that's going to live for posterity. Mm -hmm. And the pressure is high. And let's not forget money. Lots of money is riding on this, right? So we all have to bring up. Each minute, aid. each hour is spent. Each minute. It's a lot. It's a lot of money. And I think I'm cognizant of that today because I used to be this host, right? I was like that Amitabh Bachchan, I was that guy. Right. Now no show starts because I am there. Now show starts when everybody is there. Hmm. And you realize what a small part of a very big universe you are. So, it's a team sport. It's a super team sport. And sometimes, like you do this scene and you think you're very, very happy with it. And then... The guy says, oh, sorry, wo focus nahi. you can't get angry on this guy. Gada. No, you can't do this. You have things. to go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. And you have to do it with the same sincerity, you know. And you see how kindness plays out every day at your job. Explain. As I said, you know, you can't get like trippy and upset and mad about like things that are going wrong. Because there will be more things that go wrong than things that will go right mm -hmm. in your day. And then in the middle of that, you put pressure on yourself, which is I can't remember lines. Then you're like, just, you're that, you know, that frog in a boiling pot of water. Hmm. So when I feel you have that kind of pressure, best disassociate. Go away, get some fresh air, come back with a fresh mind and you do you. Only your emotions are in your control. You can't be responsible or accountable for anybody else's emotions at that time. But you would have co-stars that some of them follow your kindness philosophy, but some would not be in that category at all, no? They would be all like, it's about me, me, me. It would be an ego tussle. Would all those kinds of things also play out on set? I have only worked with really, really nice people. Hmm. Like genuinely nice people. I've been very fortunate to have worked with some wonderful people. I've worked with people who are cutest. Also, the fabric is changing, right? 
of like actors. Or is actors. it a stereotype that you think that all actors? I think it's a stereotype. Like I've worked here now like professionally since 2017 as an actor. Correct. And before that as an actor. But I have only met kind people. Because like you wouldn't get business. far without being kind. I think nah, that's a, I that's think a think so. of life, right? Yeah, I, I've been very fortunate. Whether it's been directors. Uh, like I just had one director I remember. And I love him very dearly. But it was like a really close close up. Hmm. Black and I heard that. Oh, and I heard that. I said, sir, that's bhi ganda hai. They said, yeah, yeah, too much black you have. Hmm. Now? I said, now what? No, Stop, shoot. Tomorrow I'll go clean teeth and come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, like. You should have blamed on the makeup guy. And I said, he 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 said, this Ash will make his own movie, man. <laughs> I think we definitely should, no? No, you make. I'm not working Habit with coach you. Mo- this if is are, what I will do with If you. there are any producers listening to this, Habit Coach movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we got free actor. Yeah, Kubra just said yes. We can't see it. it like, you can't hear it right now. She said yes. No, I spat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. Hello, hello, hello. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Filter Coffee Podcast, Karthik talks to Uni Radhakrishnan, CEO of Digitas India. Uni talks about what it's like being part of an idealistic organization and his leadership skills. The Simplified hosts talk about globalization with a bunch of bad jokes. On Capgemini's Techpedia series, Sheila Ditya talks to Kalaivani Ganesh Kumar, Vice President North America BU Capgemini. They discuss consumer patterns post-COVID. On Probations and Promotion Talk, Abhinav ponders whether one can make their own career bulletproof. And on The Longest Constitution, Priya throws light on the Ambani smiling an injunction against the book The Polyester Prince. Before I leave, I just want to remind you all that we have some amazing merchandise for you guys. Please go to our website, click on the shop tab and check out the collection of t-shirts. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Don't forget to rate us on any other platforms you're listening to us. And remember, you can also check us out on YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey, which helps us understand who you all are. I mean, our listeners. And we'd really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Boat Lifestyle, Small Case, Cap Gemini, and Intel VPro. Thank you so much for making this possible. Welcome back. All right, let's jump into the conversation. After writing the book, yes. coming back to the book because, you know. Oh yeah, this is promo. This is promo for book. Like, <laughs> open book. Hua. Are yeah, hmm. hey, please, yeah, people should buy this book. Huh? But like, for example, Shobha Day, she told me this. First time author, no, I am like, full like, and cut little, free book, free book. She said, don't give anybody free books. Mm-hmm. If people care, they buy. buy. And if they're really curious to know who you are and what your story is, they will buy. And you need to give them a chance to buy. You just can't go about like, I mean, do you imagine like artists just giving out their art for free? No, why do like authors get treated so like, Oh, you're the lowest common denominator. You can give a free book. You didn't have time. You didn't have time. Lockdown, na? everyone was free. That's why you wrote. That's why you wrote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Free mein de do, yeah. Oh, when am I getting my signed copy? No, you buy, I will sign. Hmm. Sign is free. That's why book isn't. I, I keep telling people that, you know, the best way to support your friends is to buy the stuff. Yes. You, you have know? to buy it like three. Hmm. No, I remember we were doing the pre-order. Yeah. Hmm. As soon as you said my book is on Amazon, look, all you have to type is open and it comes. Yeah. Hmm. So guys, you just have to type cooler. open book and you'll see Kubra's picture. Yeah. Click on that. Click yeah. on buy. Yeah. And order a copy soon. Yeah. Thank you for this. Hmm? No, because you have to read it to understand half these stories that we're talking about also. Yeah. right? Like, what is the musty otherwise? Yeah, musty. Hmm. That is Ashton's favorite word. Musty, what's the musty? If there's no musty in life, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> So, after writing the book, yeah. okay, did you suddenly realize different emotions that you hadn't discovered before that came up while, while you're writing or after you wrote it, you said that, oh, now this is the next level of maybe self-work that I need to do and move in this direction. Did epiphanies happen? Wow. Like, I know catharsis took place. Yeah. yeah. But did epiphanies happen? Like, oh, shit, I didn't know this about me. I think the epiphanies were breaking patterns Mm -hmm. because I just kind of felt like these were patterns that I was stuck in and then I had to break those. 
And that was definitely like a series of epiphanies to follow. Hey, and you know, we were talking about self-work. I'm sorry, I'm just going back to mm. that. But like me reading namaz has been like self-work. I was going to ask you the new habits that you formed. So we'll, we'll cover oh, we'll that. Oh, we'll cover that. that. Mm. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm. So I think that was definitely the epiphany that I found. Like, hey, you don't enable those who like treat you bad. Or more importantly, it was like they don't know what they're doing. But you do. So if they aren't your vibe, they aren't your tribe. So stop lowering your energy to match those who are stuck, who can't see. If you feel free, you should be above them, right? So I think that was an epiphany that definitely happened through the process of writing this book. And you always get stuck by people that are below you. Right? People above you can't stick you. Hmm. No, they don't. That's the way that it works. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... How are you going to find this tribe of high energy? I think we create, no? We all create and we all will find each other. There's no way that we won't. Hmm. But I think, yeah, that was definitely like my aha moment when I wrote this, when I, when I completed writing. And I think the other thing that I really found personal to me was the idea of us not being those people who are above everyone else, hmm. which is, oh yeah, I forgive you. Rubbish. You don't forgive nobody. So I thought it was cooler. Finish that thought, meaning you don't forgive anybody? You don't even? forgive anybody. Hmm. What you instead do is... You acknowledge that this happened. You acknowledge this happened and you start forgiving yourself. Okay. Like you start forgiving yourself because, you know, you didn't know what you would do differently. Hmm. You know, you think you're going to feel better if I said, I forgive you for what you did to me. One second, but there was a huge element of me in me, which I'm not addressing at all. So how do I start forgiving me for not knowing better? How do I forgive me for... Being tolerant of things that hurt me, you know, I think those are the things that kind of came to light. And and that's a big one, you know, even when I work with my clients, especially like things like rape, right? When mm. people, that, that feeling of guilt is so strong in the victim. Mm. It's not about forgiving the other person, it's that feeling of guilty in themselves. Oh, I could have gone to the, the police, I could have done this, I could have done that. And that just drowns you. I, I've gone through the exact same emotions and you know this because you've been there in conversations like some chapters for example now it's coming to me that we did not address hmm. in this book why did I not go to the police station? Correct. Why did not okay what's in the book why did I not go to my mother? Hmm. I could have said that I am not happy with this man's touch. Correct. But I didn't and instead of like you know wrapping myself up in that guilt and protecting myself in guilt, I think that's disservice that you can do to yourself. Yeah. And it's not a protection. It's that not. Guilt is not a protection. And shame is not a protection. Shame is not a protection. I think... Were uh, we having this discussion the difference between shame and guilt? Yeah, we were. Right? We were. Because I went to my therapist and I spoke to her about, like, see, like right now my life has kind of become a little slow because of the injury. But I do remember... I went up to her and I said, I'm going to get really busy and um, it's going to be hard. And if things get too much for me to handle, I'll get angry. She said... Eh? Why? That was the connection that you made. Yeah, in made my you. head. Hmm. I said, I will get angry. Hmm. I will have an outburst. Hmm. I will yell at somebody I shouldn't. And I already know it and I don't want. So she said that, what are the factors around this anger? Same old question, same old thing, this, that. You know, the whole pattern business. She asked me like a lot of questions which eventually circled down to my association to those people hmm. and to those situations with a sense of shame and guilt. Okay. Like when I am guilty of not giving my 100% to those people or to situations, then I get angry. So as a human being, I have never been acquainted even to shame and guilt. But I do know what anger is. And that's the first emotion that everybody sees. Oh, dude, you're like, again, like flipping it, is it? Correct. You lost it again. You lost it again. Hmm. Why did I lose it? Like, I lost it because I was suffering with something else. Hmm. You couldn't pinpoint it. You couldn't name what it was. And hence, you couldn't do anything about it. Exactly. So she said that now that you've brought this up, you need to understand when you get angry, you're not angry. Hmm. You go down that chart and find out what your underlying base emotion is. And that's what we were talking about when I was sitting with you. Correct. It's so couch. critical understanding those emotions. Right? Like, like I felt extremely angry uh, and helpless when I broke my hand. Right? And I felt guilty about not going back to work. Yeah. 
I felt guilty about inconveniencing other people that I was willing to like hurt myself even further. further. And nobody tells us that you need to pick you, man. Pick yourself first. Put yourself together. And then you go help other people. No, no. We are always working towards other people. We are always working towards other people. I think, okay, yeah, it's a little selfish. Hona hai. Hmm. It's important. Selfish and self-work is actually a very important topic. Oh, right? yeah? Yeah, because otherwise, you, when normally people say, you know, selfish, selfish, selfish. Yeah. Or especially talking about self-work and you're saying, put yourself first. They're like, you know, but that is rude. How hmm. can you do that to other people? And if you don't put yourself first, you cannot go ahead to bring other people along with you. Right? You cannot help others unless you're strong itself. I hear you. And amen to that. I really, really think that gone are those days when people made me feel bad about putting myself first. <laughs> Five habits that you're currently working on. Ah, okay. So, wake up in the morning, my meditation, journaling. Uh, Experimenting with different, different kinds. You keep sending me, oh, you should try this one out. You should try this one Yeah, out. right? Hmm. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, we actually do that kind of stuff. We send each other YouTube videos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty cool like that. <laughs> Uh, journaling uh, so there are days when I just write like you know like the gratitude thingy that you asked me to write like the five things that I'm grateful for Correct. either it's that or it's the morning pages or it's just like purging hmm. as we said like it's just purging so it's just purge on the paper hmm. yeah hmm. I'm having a hmm. the great hmm. so I do that I started with meditation no? so that's the first thing I do after Instagram. Hmm. Awesome. Instagram is the first thing that we do. Mm. We get Instagram our fingers. Once our us. thumb is tired of scrolling. Yeah. How do you think I know head, shoulder, knees and toes? <laughs> so Kubra entered the studio singing head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yeah. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> I don't know anything after that. <laughs> Babe, you're brainstorming to Parija now. Uh-huh, full. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I passed those board exams. Yeah, I really don't know. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. Hmm. Cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so no, uh, meditation. Then I get out, drink my waters. So I have lemon water. Waters? Yeah. Mm. So I have water, mm. uh, like regular water. I have lemon water. And I have uh, this water with ajwain. You remember you saw? Mm. It's very good for my gut. Okay. So I have that. I take my immunity medicine and everything. Then sit and write journal. Then I listen to a couple of surahs. On like Spotify, I've like saved it as a playlist under the name Listen Every Day. What's a surah? A surah is like a verse from the Quran. Okay. So there are a couple of surahs that have like that, like like how we have the Gayatri Mantra, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It just makes you feel good. Nice. So I have surah Yasin that makes me feel very like safe and secure. So I listen to that every morning and then I read my namaz. Nice. So I'm very happy because I was always pulling myself away from you know, the concept or the idea of faith mm-hmm. and God. Mm-hmm. I still don't, you know, put myself or categorize myself into like, oh, I am religious. But no, I think I am nothing without the greater power. And I'm okay for us to have that, us or anybody else to have that discussion in length. But I feel secure. Correct. So I read my namaz. So that again becomes a moment to again reinstate gratitude. And then if you're being greedy also, you can ask. Ask for something. Who's judging? (laughs) So then I ask. And uh, I think the most incredible habit that I've had, and I have two. Hmm. Uh, One is uh, yoga. Hmm. I've been working out like five times a week, which I'm very, 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 very happy about. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm very, like now I can't for six weeks, Hmm. but I'm going to get back to it. But now there are 35 different kinds of yoga. No? You can do face yoga, you can do this yoga, you can no, do that yoga. man, I want real yoga that makes mm. me sweat, not my tongue sweat. <laughs> but I'm saying like in general. Like mm. So I used to do yoga like five times a week mm. and intermittent fasting. Lovely. Intermittent has really helped me. And I have to say thank you, like to you, to like get me there. Because I was like that person who used to eat like everything for breakfast. Now, anda bhi de do, watermelon bhi de do, papaya bhi de do. Wake up in the morning, fruit, ah. wood. Ha, sab sab de do hai. Sab. Right. Ha. factory hai. And then after one year or two years of gali to me saying, why are you telling me to do this? Why are you telling me to no, do no, this? No, no, no. Why are you telling me no? Why are you not eating? <laughs> why are you not eating? I am eating. Why are you not eating? <laughs> Eat with me. <laughs> no, no. I am fasting. What fasting? Why are you always fasting? You're always fasting. Huh? From there, I think I've come a long way. So, last two, three years. Is What's on your, um, on your goal board? What do you call it? A vision, vision board. Vision board. Yeah, it's called, my board itself is called Dream. 
dream. Yeah, but do you remember you made me write Oscar? I yeah? did. Yeah, you made me write Oscar. And uh, it was a time in my life and I didn't think, yeah, this is not going to happen. She this said, is, what rubbish. This was this way is, before foundation. I don't also, want huh? it on it. She, she told me, I don't want to write Oscar. I mean, why are you t- right, telling me to write it? I'm shooting on the Meera Road. Mein shoot kar rahe. Tum bolega, Oscar. How it's possible like that? Tum, I never That's thought why of I it. have podcast, no? Ah. So if you start thinking like this, you'll also get podcast. Ooh, hmm. Then we'll make movies. Then, <laughs> all producers listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you actually wrote down Oscar. We were at a party. They pulled you away and I told you to write it on the board. Yes. And this is before foundation happened. So I'm saying that we've like put one stone in that direction. Why not? Yeah. And before Oscar was even written, we didn't think we were going to crack like an international show or anything of that sort. But now because it's been done once, I know I can do it again. Mm. So that's on it. I have a new like, Post it hmm. on my dream board, which says that I am ready for a secure, respectful, kind partnership, relationship, which I don't think I had written before. How beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. I always felt I was too busy for love. I thought I was lovable. I was too brash, too opinion, blah, 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 all of that, like all the kachara that people fill inside your head. But I think I'm in a place today where I can be like, no, I'm willing to explore the idea of actually sharing my life with someone else. Do you want to share the list of the person that you're looking for? Then any of the 200,000 people who listen to this can like, you know, apply. Do you have a Google form that they can probably... No, I'll just see them on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder zindagi. <laughs> My life will have Tinder Zindagi. That's right. <laughs> Tinder Zindagi. Coops, absolutely love chatting with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. I normally ask people, where can people find you? But I don't think I need to ask that, no, to you. Listen, I have 452,000 followers. I'm really struggling. Let's start with 500,000 and make it 1 million. Let's go for it. Also, let's make this book a bestseller. Let's make this book a bestseller. Yes. And that is in your hands. Not Cobra's hands, like I'm talking to the audience. I'm yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in your hands. Mm. Yeah, your hands. Your hands. Yes. Uh, fingertips, because we do Amazon now, right? So... Yeah. Mm. Oh, thumb. <laughs> thumb. <laughs> <Don't. Right. laughs> yeah, yeah. Figure it out, dude. Just buy the book. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on I the love podcast. You, I love you. See you. <laughs> now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IBM network. You can listen to us on the IBM Podcast app or IBMPodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IBM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like we'll do a random drawing of like maybe 10 people and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey where you can fill out the survey. Are you looking for finance products and services that can enhance your personal finance experience? Are you looking for a space to talk about your financial product or service? And are you looking for a crisp talk show where the conversation is all about money? Well, your search ends here. Hi, my name is Anupam Gupta and I'm host of the Pesa Pesa podcast. And I invite you for the conversation about your personal finance on each Monday on the IBM podcast app or the website or on any podcast streaming platforms. See you folks.